Yo, what's good, Tristan and Tristan fam? I'm so sorry that I'm looking like a mess. And I'm in a rush today. I got... Uh, I'm literally on the way out the door. I'm stressing. We're gonna react to Billie Eilish, No Time to Die. But before we do, check me out on Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> Let's go. We ain't messing around today. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, it's so moody. Oh my god, I like literally iconic. I should have known. Oh man. That the blood you bleed is just the blood you own. Is this actually gonna be a good movie song? Or no? We were a pair. I don't need to see that to be honest, but, but. I saw you there. Too much to bear. You were my life, but life is far away. Yo, she's got some witch claws, dude. Was I stupid to love you? Was I reckless to help? Was it obvious to everybody else? It seems like they actually gave her creative control over the song. That sounds like James Bond. I don't know why. Why does that sound like James Bond? The electric guitar, like the descending electric guitar. You were never on my side. Oh my god, dude. Fool me once, fool me twice. How oh, you die the paradise. Now that, dude, that falsetto is so good. I don't remember the last time I heard her falsetto like up front and personal like that. She's usually blending it. Could maybe just be me, but that, I don't know, dude. It's really showcasing it. Me cry. There's just no time to die. Mm -hmm. Dude, that like little grunt she did at the end is kind of sick. I've never heard that. And not, she does like the little like the moan, but also at the end of it, she like huffs into the mic like a bull. <laughs> So something to notice here. She's doing all this general Billie Eilish stuff that I've talked about in many of my other videos. And I don't mean this in a disparaging way. I'm just giving you a summary. She sings as if she's half asleep, but super focused. So it's not like da 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 da. Like, she's not like, like ready to go. You know what I'm saying? She also has the vibrato that's unstable and it's so slow and so soft that it almost falls apart constantly. All that stuff is is totally there. But on top of that, to keep everything in line with that, as she's going up in pitch, at least in this particular part of her voice as she approaches the low mid range, she's modifying her vowel to fool instead of fall. It is, this is, particularly obvious, and so I wanted to point it out. And she does that because instead of in the fall, if she sang the actual word, it would get a little bit too big because that vowel uh, is a big vowel. So she purposely muffles it or hides it behind a veil by changing the vowel from fa, from up uh, to in the foo. It's almost like she's singing an ooh because ooh vowels are muffled. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So she sort of changes her fall towards an ooh to give that effect. It is super obvious here, and so I wanted to point it out. Kind of opens up up there. Oh 
my god, that high falsetto dude. Smooth run there. Oh my god, dude, no! No! I swear I've never heard her belt like that before. Never heard her belt like that before. I did not hear that coming from a mile away. Am I wrong? Maybe there's a song out there, but I feel like I've seen most of her live performances, and I have not heard this before. Am I crazy? Well, yes, but am I hearing this wrong? And remember what I was saying before about the difference between a muffled vowel and more of an open vowel? She is not muffling this vowel, which is what makes it sound so belty and full. She's not singing sort of moving it towards that ooh do. She's singing die. I would say that she's singing an ah, no time to die but she's shading it towards uh to give it some darkness. Time to die. That's what I would say. No time to die. But it still has a little bit of that held back, restrained quality to it at the same time. So it's like you kind of have those three different shades. You have an ah uh for the brightness, which is kind of the smile. Time to die. So you have the ah, you have a little bit of the uh for some of the fullness to it in the body. And then you have a little bit of a no time to die. She's sort of uh holding it, if that makes sense. Time to die. But she's not full on holding it. Duh. It's a it's very, very precise. I love this dude. I am so ready to hear her sing this live. That sounds amazing, dude. I did not hear that. And there's no breath in this either, which you can't really have. If you're trying to like really go for a note like this, having breath in it is super unhealthy. And so really, really good job to her executing that like flawlessly. Of course, this is a studio recording and blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear the comments. It's not live. Stop pretending it's- Stop. I know you're typing it. Enough. All right, let's finish this. But at the end of the phrase, this a lot of people do this when it comes to these belted notes, because sometimes it can be a little bit much to keep one vowel, a big open vowel the whole way through. No time to die. It's like, okay. It almost feels like that's too much, if that makes sense. So she takes that note, die. And then she moves it towards an E. And remember what I was saying before about how like, ooh, sort of like softens it up or puts it behind a veil, E does something very similar. And so moving it towards that E and then adding vibrato onto it makes it so that the vibrato isn't overpowering her voice time to die, right? Uh, it's like, oh, that's out of control kind of. Uh, she pulls it into the E to kind of reel it back in and control it. Yeah, you hear that, dude? That sh is so cool. I love when people do that with vibrato. When they do a big open note, and then they pull it back into like a closed sort of sounding vowel and add vibrato to it. I love that sound, dude. Oh my God, this is really good. Change in the melody. Dude, we stan a vocal progressing queen. Unless it's just me, maybe she has belted like that before, but I haven't heard it. And I've been waiting for her to start doing that with her voice, because it's, I, oh my God, dude, here's my opinion. I'm gonna go into my opinion now. If she keeps going into this direction with her voice, which I think is definitely the way to go for her, she can still do everything else that she normally does, but also just have these surprise money notes to just bah, ah. Uh pop out of nowhere. And if she just keeps progressing with her voice, they're gonna get higher and higher, and she's gonna be able to do like crazier and crazier things, and then still do her normal Billy stuff, but also have access to this other part of her voice. It would be absolutely phenomenal. Oh my God. Anyway, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed my video. Be sure to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Oh, and until next time, Tristan and Antris fam, 
I lost it today. This was so good. I gotta go. Peace. Duh.